So without much ado, I would like to also invite the next speaker. Hey, Wakamania. I am so excited to be here. I'm Kaylee Champion. I'm going to tell you about a research project I've been working on with Benjamin Mako Hill about taboo subjects in Wikipedia. Awesome. So when I say that I study taboo, something that people often will ask me is, how do you identify what's taboo? What does taboo even mean? And isn't that just subjective? So taboo are those topics that, by definition, we're reluctant to talk about. They're yucky. They pollute us to think of them, to talk about them. Uh, they're forbidden in some way. But a lot of the subjects that are taboo in our cultures and our religions are also important for us to understand. They have to do with mental health, with physical, personal health, with violence, with sexuality. These are things that we need to know about. So how does Wikipedia respond to this? That was the, the sort of focus of our research question. But to identify taboo without kind of relying on my personal sense of what's taboo and what's not, uh, I took an approach of looking for euphemisms. So why did I look at euphemisms? What is a euphemism? We come up with euphemisms as ways to talk around a taboo subject. Uh, we can think of this as a way to avoid being polluted by the sort of dirty thing that we're actually talking about. So we might say someone has passed on because it's taboo to speak too directly that they've died. Uh, a number of different taboos also um, are reflected in sexuality and we have all kinds of euphemisms about sexuality. This is an example. I took my data set from uh, Wiktionary actually, so this is from Wiktionary, and here's the word member, which has lots of meanings, but one of those meanings is euphemistic and refers to the penis, another sort of taboo subject perhaps to speak about. So I use this to identify all kinds of articles that are uh, about taboo subjects. And here's some examples of articles that I identified that way. And I think that has some um, kind of familiarity, although we might not have picked all of those out of, the, out of our own brains, we can sort of see how um, this use of euphemisms might help us to avoid talking directly about a subject that feels taboo. So we have all of these taboo articles, we recognize that they're important, but my question was, uh, how does Wikipedia deal with social taboo? Um, are Wikipedians able to overcome taboo and make great articles on taboo subjects, or do they struggle uh, because of, say, lack of um, available resources? Uh, books get banned, um, topics are uncomfortable to read about. Maybe it's just not fun to write those articles. So to test some of this tension between the desire to make knowledge freely available to everyone uh, and this social kind of reluctance or lack of sources, uh, I tried testing five different ideas and I'm so excited to tell you that I was wrong in several important ways. So taboo articles, as you might guess, very popular with the general public. So I got that one right. Taboo articles, however, uh, that doesn't seem to keep people from making contributions to them. They are quite popular to contribute to. So Wikipedians get out there and um, interact with taboo subjects instead of shying away from them. I also proposed that probably taboo articles might receive kind of lower quality contributions, uh, more likely to be reverted as vandalism or um, just overall uh, get removed. And that is indeed the case. We can imagine how much fun it is to vandalize uh, if you're a, a vandal. Um, you might have all kinds of ideas about what to write all over um, some of these taboo topics, which is too bad, uh, but Wikipedia removes that vandalism very quickly. Um, fourth thing that I went out there to test One is minute left. Um, that taboo articles might be lower quality. The sources just might not be there. Uh, and it turns out that I was wrong. The quality of taboo articles when we compare to the other kinds of articles that show up in uh, Wiktionary definitions, taboo articles tend to be great quality. People are working really hard to make amazing quality articles out there. And the fifth idea that I stepped out there to test is that uh, article contributors, I thought, would try to kind of protect their identity, make themselves le less identifiable. And I was right in some ways, but wrong in some others that are pretty important. So let me tell you more about that. So contributors to taboo articles, less likely to have accounts, 
uh, tend to have less experience, even when we control for page protection on those articles. Uh, but those who do have accounts are more likely to have user pages than the average. They're more likely to reveal their gender uh, than the average, and they're more likely to make themselves emailable uh, than the average. So these are explicit steps that folks have taken that actually make themselves more identifiable to others um, as they're contributing to these taboo articles. All right, so the overall takeaway uh, that I'm excited to share with you is that Wikipedians are very successful at spreading knowledge about taboo subjects, uh, despite the sort of social um, reluctance that might have intervened. Uh, instead, folks are overcoming that and making these great quality articles. This is That was also a, an, an interesting and educative session. I think beyond this session, we need to look forward to ask, I mean, to look for the answer to the question, how is Wikipedia dealing with articles around